On this page, you can create custom ingredients within our database. To start, you'll share some basic information about the ingredient. The only required element is its name, but the more you can provide, the better, like the brand, a photo or PDF of the spec sheet or the nutrition label itself, and a link to the data source, like a website that shows information about the product and the nutritional information. Before you create an ingredient, make sure you thoroughly check our database to make sure it doesn't already exist. Secondly, when you're naming your ingredient, make sure you give it a very specific name, including the brand name and any other important details when possible, because you're going to want to be able to differentiate this ingredient from other ingredients that might look the same. Any ingredient that you create within our system will default to being private and only accessible by your account. However, if you think it's something useful to others, you can mark it as public. Another important thing to note is that you're not limited to just food ingredients. You can create non-food items like packaging or labor to represent the entirety of your process and the full costs of each recipe. If you've uploaded a spec sheet or a nutrition fact panel, you can actually use that image to fill the fields automatically. Here we'll try that out with an example of Frito-Lay's corn chips. Now if you didn't have an image available, that's completely fine. You can just copy the information directly from wherever you're getting the data from. In either case, you're going to want to make sure everything that's put in is accurate. So let's go through and look at how this works. The ingredient list is how your item is going to show up on the ingredient statement. It's the name of the ingredient and any of its sub-ingredients in parentheses. This should be the common name, so I'm just going to remove Frito and call it corn chips. Now there aren't any major allergens, so nothing needs to be declared there, but there are some bioengineered ingredients, so that box will be checked off. For the ingredient weight, this is the weight that the nutrition is based off of. If you're getting the information from a spec sheet, it's most often shown per 100 grams, but if you're getting it off of a product's nutrition fact panel, it's whatever the serving size is. So in this case, one serving of Fritos is 28 grams, and that's what the nutrition is based off of. So for here, if you didn't use the autofill, you just simply copy the nutritional information for each nutrient exactly as it shows up on the nutrition fact panel or the spec sheet. The last step is to enter the vitamin information. We recommend using the actual values if that's available, but if not, you could enter the percentages as well. From here, you've done everything necessary to create your ingredient, but if you wanted to, you could add optional vitamins or monounsaturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, the other thing that you can do here is create additional measures for your ingredient. So if you wanted to create a volume measure, you could say that one cup of crushed Fritos weighs 65 grams. And this would not only create this one volume measure that becomes available as a unit, but it would also create it for everything else. So you'd be able to use teaspoons, tablespoons, pints, um, any other standard volume measure. And that's it. Create your ingredient and start adding it to recipes. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at